young man that most folks weren't really familiar with yet. He had recorded a record, and his backup band was Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys, and it caused folks to sit up and pay attention to the music of Mr. James King. Yeah. That was uh, the first time James's music was heard in the world of bluegrass on a wide scale, and he went on to have one of the most celebrated bluegrass careers of the next uh, 30 years. His only thing bigger than his voice was his, was his heart and his ability to wear his emotions through that powerful voice, make you feel what he was feeling. And of course, he brought us so many great classic songs like Bed by the Window yeah. and 30 Years of Farming yeah. and a few old memories and so, so many more. And he was a great supporter of Musicians Against Childhood Cancer. Raise your hand if you were here two years ago in 2014 for James King and Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down, one of the most powerful sets of music I've ever seen a man deliver. Barely able to stand, he walked up here to support St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and sang one of some of the best I'd ever heard him sing. And now his friends are here uh, to honor his life and legacy at an event he so dearly loved. Please make welcome to the Max stage, Ricky Simpkins, Don Rigsby, Joe Mullins, Ronnie Simpkins, Dudley Connell, and Christopher Hill with a tribute to the bluegrass storyteller, James King. Yeah.
Yesterday, everything was so still as I started to leave. Some more.